I just wanted to show you some of the autumn view here in Soknedal, Norway. And this is the view from the school. You can really see the autumn colors starting to show up. There's a lot of yellows and browns around. The reds and oranges will be coming later. And yes, we do live in a beautiful place. Here's in the other direction, southbound, approximately. You can see a lot of the green is still here, but yep, speck of yellow and brown. And most of the farmers have har harvested their crops. There aren't many maples around. But we do have a few, here's one of them, and I expect to see this one turn red in just a couple of weeks. It isn't that cold yet, we do still get t-shirt temperatures during the day, so that's why the farmers haven't taken their cows in yet. They're still outside, day and night. I'll be taking them in in a couple of weeks, I think. There are still some flowers around. A red clover, yarrow, goat's beard. But most of them have set seed and are preparing for the winter. In case you're wondering why I sound slightly winded, it's because I'm out on a walk with Bonzo. Our chubby Kelpie, who needs to get some weight off. In addition to being a good year for berries this year, although most berries have gone by now, it seems a good year for mushrooms as well. For those who pick mushrooms, I know a lot more about herbs and plants than I do about mushrooms. But there are a lot of them. Here's one example of what I mean by a lot of mushrooms. This is maybe three square feet. And uh, as you can see, there are a lot of them. This year, the apples are still there. They haven't fallen off. So I hope we'll get a good apple harvest somewhere around the end of October. These are winter apples. And the ones up there are the best ones and we can't get to them. Along with the apples, this will probably be my only harvest this year. So, the garden is in disarray. So, I'll have a lot of work next year. I hope you like this little view of autumn in Norway. Bye bye.